Hi, the knot here with Rhett the Best. Hi. And we are here to watch the season finale of Book of Circus. Yay! What do you think is going to happen? I don't know. What do you want to happen? Everybody didn't get all the kids are safe and sound. <laughs> well, too late for that. Yeah. Um, what do you expect will happen? The children burn up. Well, we already know that. I don't know. It's kind of... Okay, let's think about any loose plot threads. They have to talk to the... Deal with the queen. Oh, yeah. They, um... Oh, and Doll. We've forgotten about Doll. Haven't seen her in a while. Yeah. Mm. Lady Elizabeth. Yeah. All the kids at the workhouse. Mm-hmm. So it's like, really? Mm-hmm. Anyway. So here we go. Black Butler Book of Circus, Episode 10. We met in the cutters. Where the country's filth is quietly funneled away. We were that filth. Some of us were missing body parts from birth or from accidents. Some had bodies that never grew beyond childhood, or that grew too much. Some were damaged by their own parents. All of us were left in the gutter. So we got to see a bit of doll without showing her face. Mm hmm And she was hurt by her parents, evidently. Wow. So what do you think is going to happen to doll? I'm not sure. Maybe she'll find her parents again? Would you want to have parents that ripped your eye out? No. Or burned you or whatever the hell they did to her? No. But this is what I feel. I was thinking, hmm. maybe she could do something like that to them. Oh, you think that doll's going to get revenge? Yeah. Okay. Someday. Fulfilling his duty. Look, there she is. Mm -hmm. We weren't bad children, but people like us couldn't get jobs in England. <laughs> Our broken bodies. Even stealing was a tricky business. I can't remember how we survived. It seems a miracle now. We managed somehow. So long as we stayed in the gutters where we belong. But then, one day. What's wrong? What are you sulking over here for? I'm not sulking. We can never be happy with what we have, eh? This is heaven compared to where we lived before. But it's just never enough, is it? <laughs> oh, Jumbo! It's fine fellow over here wants to play with that other lot. What? Come on up now. Uh, no, it's fine, really. <laughs> There's no reason to be shy. Go on, now. <laughs> Go 
Can we join in? Of course. Would you like to go too? Oh, no, I'm fine here. It's too bad we only have one jumbo. Is that a missing my right hand for that matter? I will carry you. Well, it's all right. I'm too old to play. <laughs> all right then. This wind is nice. Son of a prostitute named Karen Taylor. No record of his given name. Born on the second day of April, 1863. Died of blood loss on 9 February, 1889, after having been inflicted with a mortal wound. That's all. Nothing else to note. Complete. Yeah, Joker doesn't even have a real name. Oh, wow. Those poor kids. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I can't imagine what personnel was thinking. Why would they wait to send help when this obviously isn't a one-man job? But I don't suppose that you have the answer. Ronald Knox. What can I say, Mr. Spears, sir? I'm sorry. I thought I hurried, but I guess it wasn't fast enough. I shall strive to do better in the future. Is that what's bothering you? Or are you disappointed it's me? No. I'm rather relieved to see you, actually. I thought it might be him, given he was taken off suspension today. I'm not usually this pleased to be wrong. <laughs> Grell Sutcliffe. Oh, yeah, he was off on another job when I saw him. Seemed awfully excited about it, too. Let me see. Where was it again? The Phantom Hive Manor, I have Richard. Right you are, that's the one. That job looks quite a bit easier than this one from what I see here. That's quite a shame then, isn't it? For both you and him. <laughs> uh, who's talking about me? <laughs> Honestly, we must not become emotionally involved. Doing so only causes trouble. Our job as Grim Reapers is to examine and collect souls according to the list distributed by our supervisors. That's it. Nothing more. Wow. Even the examinations are formalities. People whose continued existence may bring about a desirable change in the world are sometimes allowed to live. However, such an instance is much more the exception than the rule. Usually, we merely double-check the list to be certain no grave mistakes are made. Don't ask questions or make errors. All righty, let's get this double checking over with post haste, then, shall we? There's a party with the secretarial pool tonight. And I don't know about you, my friend, but I'm a no overtime kind of fellow. The cause of death for most of the subjects within the manor was burning, but it was a demon who set the fire. What? You can't be serious! He doesn't seem the type to scavenge for food. But we mustn't be careless. If he makes off with one of the souls, there will be no end to the paperwork. Yes, sir. I'll be very thorough, I promise. That's the only way you avoid overtime. Is that death scythe of yours approved for soul harvesting? The form's all in order, don't <laughs> you worry. I have me a lady friend in general affairs. <laughs> Good. Right then. Let's get them done by the end of this shift. Roger that. We'll collect every last one. Lawn mower. <laughs> uh, There's doll. Oh my god. What the hell happened here? <gasps> Where's Joker? <gasps> Joker, where are you? <sighs> smile. Wait, hold on a minute. What are the two of you doing here? What's going on? And where's Joker? I'm sorry to inform you, but he passed away. I don't understand. 
to send Black. What are you saying? Smile? Come on, talk to me! Get your lowly hands off me! We've been investigating a series of child abductions on Her Majesty's orders. Perhaps you're familiar with what I'm speaking of? You mean, you really are with the Yard? You came to arrest us? No, on the contrary. <laughs> we came to erase you. In the name of Phantom High, Her Majesty's Guard Dog. You're the Guard Dog? There's no way. The Earl of Phantom Hive. Impossible. You smile? You're actually Phantom Hive? No, then it was all just a lie. All of it? Really? Yes, that's right. My name is Ciel and I am the head of House Phantom Hive. I have a singular responsibility to the Queen. I dispel her worries, which is why Kelvin and Joker needed to die. And so I saw to it. <gasps> Us form a circus troupe? Father's asking the impossible. No, he's not. We can do it. To be honest, I feel like I can do just about anything now with the new leg father gave me. And I'll bet I can be a bang-up knife thrower. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I'm in. Well, why don't we start by picking stage names then, huh? Jumbo stays Jumbo. Right. You'll be Beast. And you're Dagger. Oh. Nice and simple, wouldn't you say? What? <gasps> do me next. What's mine? I want a new name too. Well, let me see here. All right. I think I know. Doll. What? <laughs> a girly name like that doesn't fit me at all. Come on, please. You can't pick out something else for me. <laughs> of course it fits you, silly goose. And do you want to know why? Because you are a precious little sister. Understudies. 
Never it's lonely on my own. Evidently, he used to be in a cage. for sharing your compartment, my lord. I'm afraid I was unable to purchase a third-class ticket on such short Calm notice. Calm down, it's fine. My lord, I confess there is something I don't quite understand. What is it? Why are you so interested in visiting their old workhouse? In case you hadn't noticed, its patron is dead. It can't possibly keep its doors open for much longer without one. Lord Burton and his lot would probably be willing to donate, and I don't mind setting the wheels in motion. Out of the goodness of your heart? Dealing with the aftermath is part of a phantom hive's job. There's no need to sacrifice innocent members of above-board society to the machinations of the underworld. Then why did we burn the manor with the children inside? I've seen enough victims to know how this sort of thing will play out. Once they end up like that, there's no returning to normal. They're too damaged. So you decided they would be better off dead than living like that? How very arrogant, my lord. How many humans have you met who aren't arrogant in some way? <laughs> None at all, my lord. Your assessment is spot on. Think about it for a moment. How much strength do you suppose it takes for somebody, especially somebody weak like a child, to recover from that kind of trauma? I know from experience. Moments before I had broken completely, I managed to summon you. And with you came the strength that I needed to recover. Given their own demons, the others might have been fine. But you were the only one there, and you belong to me. I'm absolutely arrogant, and I don't deny it. However, you see, I'm not arrogant enough to assume I can save those who are utterly lost. I think I understand, my lord. Workhouse, eh? Yes. I wonder if perhaps you would be kind enough to take us there. Well, I don't mind taking you since it's on my way and all. But what a noble want with that place, I can't say I understand. <laughs> Just a trifle again. Mm. I won't promise you a comfortable ride.
It shouldn't come as a surprise, but it appears Lord Kelvin was lying about the workhouse. It's completely deserted and dilapidated, and likely has been so for quite some time. Given what the good doctor said before, well, I doubt the orphans who were here met a pleasant end. Sebastian could have caught it if he wanted to just then. So what do you think is going to happen to Snake? Um, he's going to be by himself for a while. Yeah. Or he's going to go back there and find out what really happened. You are less sophisticated than demons, and yet the grudges you hold are more complex. Your compulsion to lie is unmatched. You struggle desperately your entire lives and carelessly trample those in your way. You steal and are stolen from. You are hopeless, and yet still you strive to get over the hill and far away. But then I suppose that's why humans are so interesting. Hey, what did you think? Wow. Poor doll. Poor. They're all so. Eager to please their dad. They forgot the. Little ones. I think. They didn't forget the little ones. I think was more. Um, they wanted to please their father. So he would help the little ones. Hmm. Okay. But the ones that they were trying to protect by helping, by pleasing their father, was the very people that their father was torturing. Oh, lovely. Most of those kids were from the workhouse. Oh, God. You mean the ones with yeah. the ra lacerations to the skull or whatever? Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, All the biopsy children. Well, most of the biopsy children. Wow. What's that, Miss Snuggle, too? What do you think about the Queen's servants that Saciel burned down the building? I think they're going to die. You think they're going to die? By Sebastian's hand. That's a possibility. Yeah. What do you think the queen's going to do about it? I have no idea. And the next season is called Book of Circus. I mean, bro <laughs> Book of Murder. Book of Murder. Based on that title, what do you assume? There's going to be a lot more murders in it. <laughs> going to be a lot more murders in it. Okay. Did you like this season? Yes. Okay. Well, read the best. And the not. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe, share. We are going to, I'm going to do, I'm not sure if she's going to join, but I'm going to do a Q&A. So if you have a question for me, any question, any topic, I will try to answer it to the best of my ability. So, you know, answer below. Question below. Bye.